Well, hello again, everyone. And how are we this evening? That's it? After that little bit of improv, I should hope that you're at least there. And you do need that levity, because the prior times that I have been up here, I have given you something a little bit on the lighter end of what I have written. And I decided finally, you know what? It's about time that I actually took you down into the darkness. Yes! So that is where we begin. This particular poem is one that um, kind of ties into my usual line of work. I don't know how many of you recall or may even know from the get-go, but um, I literally came straight from work today. I'm a funeral director. And this particular poem actually is something that I deal with on a daily basis. Um, I told this to my mother, in fact, not too long ago, because I was asked, how do you do your job? The way that I do my job is that for every single person that comes through my door and sits across from me on that table, I lose the same person they have lost. And in the course of my 10 years doing this, I've lost everyone in my family. And I know how that feels. That's how I do my job. I put myself in your place. And this is one of those places. This is entitled Left Behind. Like a noose round the neck, tightening with each frantic breath, so is life to me without you. But a taste each night as I bid you farewell to the service of others. When the time to depart draws near, I fret the absence, though temporary. The taste of loneliness is bitter. What am I to do with the time? Only so much before that becomes a chore. The endless draw of hours of the eternal night alone the glimpse of what life is without my love. It is an endless stream of images from a box, the pre-recorded sound of strangers, perhaps the tracing of letters on a page, pages that have been seen before. Words, voices, images on the screen, a repeat of untruth compared to this of me and you. Think me foolish if you must, others surely feel the same. Yet do I consider the ugly truth of solitude. Love is in itself a double-edged blade, both a completion and eventual devastation of the soul. I fear the horror of my lonely voice the day you don't reply. Don't you dare go anywhere. 